Hey everyone, today we'll be making hempcrete and this is going to be a really short video because it only takes three things to make it. Hemp herd, hydrated lime, and water. And for those unfamiliar with this product, hempcrete is not a substitute for concrete in that concrete is often used for its high rate of compressive strength allowing it to be used in heavy load-bearing applications while hempcrete will easily break apart under the same heavy loads. Instead, hempcrete is used as an all-natural form of insulation, outperforming traditional options in practically every way. It insulates just as well as fiberglass with an R value of 2.5 to 3, can handle high humidity, is naturally antimicrobial and antifungal, it's fire resistant, and the craziest thing of all is that this is one of those unicorn carbon negative products, meaning that the use of hempcrete will actively remove carbon dioxide from the atmosphere and sequester it into the walls. It's even completely biodegradable, making this in my opinion, one of the most important products to be introduced with the passing of the 2018 Farm Bill, which legalized the use of industrial hemp. But yeah, uh, all I need to do is mix one part hemp herd, which is the grounded up woody core of a hemp plant, with one half parts hydrated lime, which binds the hemp herds together, and two parts water. I'll just add the hydrated lime in a bucket, add in the hemp herds, mix it together a bit, and be sure to use gloves and masks from this point on since the hydrated lime can cause burns to the skin and irritate the lungs. Once that's all mixed, I'll add in the water and start mixing it again. I'm using a plastic tray I have lying around for the mold and I'm just gonna pour it all in here now that everything's mixed. And now I'm just going to tamp it down a little before letting it sit to dry. A couple days later, I'm removing it from the mold and I probably should have given it a few more days to dry since it still feels damp to the touch but at least it's holding its shape really well. A week after that, it's pretty much dried. And this is actually another huge benefit of hempcrete because it's vapor permeable, so it can absorb and release moisture in the air around it to help regulate the indoor environment. So for example, if it gets too damp at night, it'll remove some of that excess moisture by absorbing it into the walls. And then when it gets dry in the day, the sun hitting the walls will release that moisture back into the house, naturally cooling it. And it can do all this without mold issues since hempcrete is naturally resistant to mold due to the lime binder with its high pH, which makes it inhospitable for mold spores. And that's it. 